Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's RC Maxwell here for the Back to 12 podcast, and we've got a lot to discuss today as this past weekend had an official visitor from the high school ranks for Texas Tech men's basketball. But before we get into that, I want to say, because we didn't have a video yesterday, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that watch out there. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to Mama Maxfield for all that she's done for me, and shout out to every mom that watches this channel, and just every mom in Red Raider Nation in general. We appreciate y'all. All right, let's jump into this. As this past weekend, Texas Tech did have an official visitor on campus. No, not from the portal, but instead a high school recruit, and he is from Finland. So we've got Emeli Yalau. Emeli Yulahu, originally from Finland, as I mentioned, but played high school basketball at Western Reserve Academy in Ohio. He's 6'8", 230, currently not ranked by any of the major recruiting sites, so Rivals, 247, on 3, ESPN, yada, 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 right? But Grant McCaslin and crew offered Yulahu at UNT, and he received another offer from Texas Tech once Grant McCaslin got the job, a couple of weeks after he actually got the job. He officially visited the Red Raiders this past weekend, did Yulahu, after visiting Fred Hoiberg, who I actually forgot was at Nebraska, but that's exactly where he is, former Iowa State, Chicago Bulls, now Cornhusker head coach. That's where Yulahu was before he went down to the 806, and this is kind of what I got from watching him, and again, not a ton of film on him, but from what I saw in some of the games I could go find in terms of the Euro basketball under 18s where he actually helped Finland to a bronze medal, which is pretty impressive, all things considered, right? He was one of the leading scorers on that team for the Finns, right? He has a pretty solid game that actually surprised me. And when watching it, do I think he should be a five star? No. Do I think he should even be a four star? Probably not. But he should be a solid three-star recruit, in my opinion. And this is kind of the points that came out of it when I watched his film. Again, this is for Emeli Yalahu, a uh, Western Reserve Academy, Ohio basketball player originally from Finland. But this was the tape that I got uh, from Yalahu that I could actually find out there. He's a big forward that can beat you off the dribble. He uses his size very well. And for a guy his age... He was really patient with the basketball. He's a really solid athlete as well that kind of surprised me. I thought he was going to be more of the guy that was just, hey, I'm 6'8", 230. I'm bigger than you. I'm just going to use my mass and absolutely get to the rim whenever I want. He does that, but kind of in a unique skill set type of way. He's got good strength in his upper and lower body. His lower body just really dictates where people can go with his strength in his legs. Um, and he surprisingly got a good burst as well. That's something that really stood out to me in terms of what was going on. And really the burst comes from being around the basket and actually getting there and making sure that he can get in proper position because let's face it he doesn't have the best vert in the world but he has a surprisingly good one where I think it sneaks up on people when you look at his respective size right he's a bigger dude he's 6'8 230 and he looks the part right like he's got a better vert and is more athletic than I think people would give him credit for in terms of just reading a book by his cover another aspect that really stood out to me and I think this might be his best attribute as an offensive player right now, and that's saying something for a guy his side, he is really good at catching and shooting the basketball, all right? He always has his hands ready for the catch and shoot. He also just understands spacing well, right? So when a guy drives to the basket, if he's on the pick and roll, he understands where he needs to go on the pick and pop. He also understands if he's not involved in the pick and roll, where to go when a guy is diving to the basket. He understands where to be to be that outlet guy on the perimeter, and his hands are always ready. And he's got a pretty quick release as well and a nice touch on the ball for a guy his size and at his age, right? Really good feet as well. That's something that stood out in the sense of he just knows how to use his leverage really well and use his size to his advantage. Again, not the quickest guy in the world. Got a nice burst, but not the quickest, right? But he understands leverage well and how to put his feet in the proper position to where he can use his body at the upper part of it to get those angles that he needs to get to the basket. Um, he can also finish through contact. That was something that really stood out. Again, really good at playing at his own pace. Good touch for a player his size. And also, he's a solid passer. I don't think he's a wow passer right now. But again, we're talking about a 17, 18-year-old kid from Finland and Yulahu who 
also played at Western Reserve Academy in Ohio. Like it wasn't the greatest competition in the world, but you can see why college coaches are interested in him. He's got an offer from Nebraska. He's got an offer from Georgetown, Texas Tech. The list goes on and on. There are some solid schools on his offer list, including Providence as well, right? Like he has some solid offers. And I think he could be one of those guys where I look at it that this name kept popping into my head because of how he plays the game. Maybe y'all remember Kenny Lofton Jr. at La Tech. Do I think he gets to that level? I'm not sure, but he has a similar quality of game in terms of his his size and skill set to Kenny Lofton Jr. right now. Kenny Lofton Jr. is probably a little bit quicker off the burst, but I would probably say Yalahu is a better shooter at this current time in their development right? Um, when they were both 18 years old, kind of looking at it. So really like what he has potential wise. And I think he could be a really good potential guy for the Red Raiders that they could develop and really get into a rotational type piece here in a couple years or so. Because looking at the roster right now, right? You've got six players on the team site as of the time of this recording, which is Monday morning, May 15th. You've got Isaacs, Lindsey, Jennings, Walton, Damarion Williams, and Lamar Washington. Remember, you've got the commitments and the signatures for two of these three guys. And McMillan, Williams, and Washington out of the portal. Obviously, that is Darion and Warren Washington. Um, Darion Williams and Warren Washington. Then you got Jason Jackson and Drew Steffi when it comes to the freshmen coming in. And hey, who knows, Yalahu could be another freshman and you have three guys in there. And really that's the most interesting part for me because looking at this roster right now, you have two scholarships remaining, right? Um, Tech is still very active in the portal as it stands right now. Do they want to take three true freshmen onto this roster next season? And by the way, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think it's strictly preference by this coaching staff. Can't go wrong either way, in my opinion. It's just who do you feel better about in terms of somebody in the portal or this true freshman that you'll have to develop, right? Um, now, they could land two guys in the portal. They're very much in on the Vandy guard and Tyron Lawrence. I talked about him in the previous video. I'll actually go ahead and put it right about... Let's go ahead and put it right there. Yep, there we go. And I talked about his skill set and everything. But again, there is no wrong answer to this, right? You have two scholarships remaining because that does include Jason Jackson coming to the 806, because Texas Tech does have to honor his NIL if he does want to come to the 806, right? So now you have two scholarships to work with. It'd be really good if you got a guy like this just to have off the bench and really learn the motions and everything. But how much production is he going to give you, Yalahu, in his first year of college basketball and arguably the toughest conference in America? I, I don't know, and I probably wouldn't say a lot, right? I just think that that's probably the fair way to look at it. OK, but overall, the roster is slowly coming together. Obviously, it'd be good if they add another player or two that are impact players. But this is going to be on the coaching staff and what they see fit for this roster right now. But Yulahu is a guy that is definitely interesting. And I think Texas Tech has a solid chance to land him out of the high school ranks and be on campus next year in the scarlet and black. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. I am R.C. Maxfield reminding you, if you want the latest breaking news and rumors, when it comes to Texas Tech men's basketball all year long, again, I'm giving you at least five videos a week, people. At least five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco videos every week about Texas Tech men's basketball. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the know right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.